The MP40, MP designates Maskinen pistol, was a submachine gun developed in Nazi Germany and used extensively by Fallschirmjäger, paratroopers, platoon and squad leaders, and other troops during World War II. It was often erroneously called the Schmeisser, despite Hugo Schmeisser's non-involvement in their design and production. Schmeisser had designed the MP18, which was the first mass-produced submachine gun, and saw extensive service at the end of the World War I. He did not, however, design the MP40, although he held a patent on the magazine. He later designed the MP41, which was an MP40 with a wooden rifle stock and a selector, identical to those found on the earlier MP28 submachine gun. The MP41 was not introduced as a service weapon with the German army, but saw limited use with some SS and police units. They were also exported to Germany's ally, Romania. The MP41's production run was brief, as Irma filed a successful patent infringement lawsuit against Schmeisser's employer, Hennel. The MP40 descended from its predecessor, the MP38, which was in turn based on the MP36, a prototype made of machine steel. The MP36 was developed independently by Irma Werke's Berthold Giepel with funding from the German army. It took design elements from Heinrich Vollmer's VPM 1930 and EMP. Vollmer then worked on Berthold Giepel's MP36 and in 1938 submitted a prototype to answer a request from the German armament services for a new submachine gun, which was adopted as MP38. The MP38 was a simplification of the MP36, and the MP40 was a further simplification of the MP38, with certain cost-saving alterations, notably in the more extensive use of stamp steel rather than machine parts. The receiver casing has been made smooth instead of corrugated, as in the case of the MP38. On certain models, a special locking device is incorporated on the cocking handle. Instead of the hook-shaped cocking handle, these models are fitted with a knob type. The knob must be pulled out slightly against the spring tension before the cocking handle can be drawn back to the rear or released from the safety slot. This design is intended to overcome the danger of a cartridge being fired when the cocking handle is accidentally freed from its locking recess, as by catching against clothing. The correct position of the left hand when firing this weapon is gripping the corrugated section of the frame directly to the rear of the magazine housing. Holding the magazine itself may cause serious jams. There is inevitably a certain amount of play in any magazine when it is locked into pace, and if it is being used as a rest for the left hand during the course of recoil, it may rock the magazine mouth sufficiently to cause poor feeding. There were never enough MP40S to go around, because raw material and labor costs made it expensive to produce alongside the Car 98 rifles, which, for troops finding themselves more and more in assault roles, meant that the Russian PPSH-41 was sometimes scavenged from the battlefield to fill the need. Examples of this are visible in more than a few wartime photos. Starting in 1943, the German army moved to replace both the Car 98K rifle and MP40 with the new MP43 44th assault rifle, also known later as the STG-44, designed by Heinrich Vollmer and Berthold Giepel.